Welcome to another edition of Biloxi A to Z, the insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is being recorded for Friday, August 11th, 2023. More sports fields are temporarily closing. We will give you an update on the fields at the Pops Ferry Recreational Area. Soccer registration continues. We'll tell you where you can sign up, the youngsters, and how you can get involved. School is back in session, which means Biloxi Swim meets at the Biloxi Natatorium. We'll tell you where you can find the schedule and when the natatorium will be closed for the swim meets. And we'll tell you if the excessive heat is expected to continue this weekend with the weekend preview. We begin with the closures of the sports fields at the Pops Ferry Recreational Area. The Biloxi Parks and Recreation Department has closed the fields located north of the pickleball fields so that crews can conduct maintenance. The closure is expected to last about a month. This means all the fields at the Pops Ferry Recreational Area will now be closed. The soccer fields north of the dog park closed in February because of vandalism to the electrical panels as well as the poor conditions of the light poles. The city has been looking into the best options for replacing the damaged poles and panels at the fields as well as waiting on a couple of Osprey to vacate two damaged poles. No timeline has been set for the reopening of the sports fields. The Biloxi Soccer Organization still has openings for players ages 4 to 14. Those interested in playing can register online at BiloxiSoccer.net. Games will be played this year from September to December. The organization is also looking for coaches for the U12 and U10 boys and the U12 girls. If you are interested in coaching, please contact Ronnie Seymour at the Biloxi Parks and Recreation Department at 228-388-7170. For more information on youth soccer, visit the city's website at biloxi.ms.us and click here, then click here. School is in session and Biloxi High Swim Team is back in full swing with afternoon practices and day-long meets at the Biloxi Natatorium. The pool will close early when the team has a meet at the natatorium. You can see when the pool will be closed to the public by visiting online at biloxi.ms.us forward slash PR. Click here, then click here. The City Council did not hold a meeting this week. The next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, August 15th at 1.30 p.m. at Biloxi City Hall. To see more about the City Council, visit online and click here. The weekend forecast calls for a continuation of daytime highs in the mid to upper 90s with evening lows only dropping into the low 80s. There's still a chance of a few afternoon or evening showers but otherwise plenty of heat and sunshine. Football and cheer registration continues Saturday from 9 a.m. till noon at the Donald M. Snyder Community Center located at 2520 Pass Road. And over at MGM Park, the Biloxi Shuckers battle it out with the Tennessee Smokies in games scheduled all weekend. For more information, visit BiloxiShuckers.com. The Historic Homes Inside and Out presentation is Saturday at 1 p.m. at the Biloxi Public Library located at 850 Howard Avenue. The Local History and Genealogy Department is presenting this free program to assist patrons in researching their historic homes. Speakers will discuss historical characteristics of homes and explain how to conduct research using the local history and genealogy department collection. When it comes to groundbreaking bands and Christian hard rock, Striper is renowned for its distinctive brand of heavenly metal. The multi-platinum band continues to share their positive message and energetic stage presence with passionate following throughout the world. Striper performs live Saturday night at the IP Resort Casino. One of the greatest Motown and R&B artists of all time, the Commodores, have influenced artists and fans both young and old with their classic songs. With a brand that is bigger than ever, the Commodores continue to blaze trails all over the world and perform live Saturday night at the Beau Rivage Resort and Casino. Tickets to the events mentioned are available by visiting the various venues' websites. And to see a list of what's happening throughout the month, check out the Biloxi Community Calendar in the August issue of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking right here. We leave you today from Back Bay where a group of pelicans gathered earlier this week. Have a great weekend and we'll see you again 
next week.